Okay, we're gonna walk you through how to get a blood sample uh, to use your blood glucose monitor at home with this little kitty. Okay, so before I poke her, I put this into the glucometer. I don't push it in though. Um, I just have it so that it's all set. So all I gotta do is push it and then it's gonna start going. Then I get a 25 gauge needle And I usually have them facing away from me. Uh, boy. Her ears, Her are, ears are pretty wrinkly. Um, I'm gonna do the inside with her ear. You can either poke from the outside or the inside, but I always um, end up turning the ear over on itself so that it's bent like this. Um, and then I'm just gonna poke her. And she's not bleeding good, so you can see there's not much blood. So I'm gonna poke her Ooh, again. She hates it. Oh, there you go. Oh, she's not bleeding much. It's <laughs> probably because her ears are battle axe old ears. Yeah, it's all right. That so might you... be enough. So then I'm gonna push it in. Now that I see blood, go to this. Oops. I'm gonna push this in. And wait for it to tell me it's ready. And then now I know that I can use it. So I'm gonna put it right. And it beeped so we know it read. And she's 188. There you go.